A toddler is home recovering tonight. He needed more than 200 stitches after a pit bull attack on Tuesday. Well, tonight, Birchelle Edme brings us the new information about this little fighter and the tips to keep your children safe. After several hours in the hospital, Ricky will survive, but not without serious medical battles ahead. Tonight, his family wants the owner held accountable. The dog was over the other side of the fence, and then it jumped. It jumped? And when it jumped, who didn't try it yet? Me at first, and then it got Bubba. Seven-year-old Jordan Conley ran from the pit bull and narrowly escaped, but Bubba, his three-year-old cousin Ricky, didn't. His ear was ripped, his eyes swollen shut, and his skull sustained serious injuries. Doctors say if the dog bit a half inch more, Ricky may have died. Officials say the toddler was attacked when the dog got loose from his drunk owner. That owner, Robert Reif, now faces charges. Springfield Humane Society took the pit bull. Mom, Crystal Conley, says Reif needs to be stopped. He shouldn't have had his dog out, and I think they need to get him with child endangerment because he knew the dog would bite. He tells everybody that the dog bites and then it tears somebody up. He shouldn't have had it coming down here with it. As we get closer to summer, officials are noticing more attacks. Kelly Sharp is one specialist talking to kids about preventative safety rules around dogs. The danger there is that we have a lot of children that come to the ER with um, simple dog bites and then very serious dog bites. And so we take them through a course of steps that they can um, kind of remind themselves that if they see a strange dog, it is not okay for them to approach the dog. They need to talk to the owner. They need to make sure that the dog, you know, smells their hand before they pet them. Based on that advice, it looks like the injured boy did everything right. He was in his backyard playing when the owner allowed multiple children, including Ricky, to pet his dog. Wright faces three misdemeanor charges, failure to license a dog, failure to control a dog, and failure to vaccinate it against rabies. Ricky will head back to doctors Tuesday for more treatment and follow-up. Beershell Edmay, 2 News, working for you.